seen as very risk averse. Informal sector workers find it very difficult to obtain capital. But this segment is increasingly attracting millions of dollars in equity financing. And this is the experience of one such social enterprise to Gende. We don't really look at short term returns on investment because we are constantly reinvesting in our own growth. So we've been abro above break even for several years. But the reason we keep needing to look for external capital is because our growth goals are much higher than we can support with our internal returns alone. So fortunately, we've been able to attract you know, external capital from international investors, both for debt and equity. And we're increasingly seeing um, domestic interest on the, on the debt capital side as well. So banks and people like that uh, are starting to understand our business better. The firm, a lease to own or hire purchase package for border border drivers in Uganda and Kenya, has to date registered 16,000 in turnover ownership of assets out of the 43,000 applications. So we've been able to build a track record of repayment history that outperforms every single commercial bank in East Africa. Um, so when we show them on-time payments, very low NPLs under 1%, um, it's attractive. Of course, we have to look at other risk factors like regulation, um, but Tugende is a nationwide business, not just a capital city business. So at the moment, only about 20% of our clients are in Kampala, and we have 22 branches across Uganda and four in Kenya. Michael Okason, the chief executive officer to Gende, says the firm has so far extended about $40 million in leases to loans financed. So today we've financed over 43,000 clients, um, mostly for motorcycles, but we are diversifying into other types of business equipment, including refrigerators for shops, outboard engines for fishermen, um, and we're just starting to look at the agricultural sector as well. Tugende's current equity acquisition is valued at 3.6 million US dollars. The social enterprise model is by far seen as the silver bullet, reducing poverty levels among low-income earners, majority of whom are today moving to cities in thousands every year.